Hello, it's Anne Murphy here. I'm just about to do my oh, the start of my Christmas shopping. It's my regular uh, fortnightly shop, or time to do my regular fortnightly shop. But with Christmas here, um, it's better if I stick to some of those um, fresher ingredients like fruit and vegetables a bit closer to the day uh, instead of doing a top up next week. So. Um, I'm just going to do things a little bit differently and I'm going to do a bit of a bulk stock up shop at a grocery outlet shop, the Golden Circle outlet shop near me and then I'll do a small online click and collect order uh, that I'll pick up tomorrow uh, for next week and then um, pick up what I need for Christmas like seafood and fruit and vegetables just before Christmas so um, stay tuned to see what I bought. I've just got back from doing um, a grocery shop uh, at the Golden Circle Outlet Shop, which is a, a grocery store that sells things in bulk or they might be um, nearing the expiry date and you can get some great uh, multiple quantity buys. And I like to do a shop there maybe twice or three times a year just to stock up the pantry and especially around Christmas time and school holiday time because um, the children are at home and probably eating more so I just like to have a few treats um, stocked up so um, this is what I bought uh, there were these uh, mini cakes they were like um, maybe two for a dollar or a dollar each a packet these um, icy poles um, zuper dupers we call them Two tins of beetroot, uh, red and green pickled onions, a large tin of sliced peaches and a large tin of pineapple. See, the, the brand is Golden Circle, but um, sometimes they don't have the labels on, so you can buy them quite cheap. I've got apple juice and pineapple juice and cordial, soy sauce. I've got these um, tins of 99% sparkling apple juice. For Christmas Day, just um, for something nice to have to drink. Uh, some Dijonese and Hollandaise sauce, pickles, whole egg mayo, coconut oil, uh, some sugar, uh, 90, uh, 35% less sugar strawberry jam, some <laughs> festive Bakewell tarts, they were only a dollar a packet and some iced Christmas cake slices, some um, Arnott's biscuits, I think these were three for five dollars, just mix and match whichever ones you wanted, two packs of uh, long life uh, rice noodles, two packs of the um, parmesan cheese, uh, vermicelli noodles, long life custard, some various tins of beans and tinned um, mango slices, a whole slab of um, juice boxes for the kids, a jar of roasted um, capsicum, which is only like two or three dollars. I buy that every time. It's a really good, good buy. Uh, three cans of tinned spaghetti, some toilet cleaner, five pack or oh, six packets of pasta for five dollars. Uh, some cookies as treats, some large uh, Ziploc story ba storage bags, some treats, some frozen fish fillets, uh, four tubs of ice cream, that should keep them going, they were only $2.50 a tub, a kilo of um, premium shortcut bacon, um, two tubs of spreadable butter, some crumbed squid rings for Christmas Day and then um, for all of that from the Golden Circle shop came to $131.30 and then I went to the butcher uh, right next to it and I got a uh, piece of roasting pork shoulder at $8.99 a kilo and then two packets of these pork riblets. They're, um, there's two uh, ribs in each pack for some um, slow cooked ribs for a meal and the total for that came in at 
33.52. So, so far for my Christmas groceries, I've spent 33.52 and 131.30. So that's 164.82. And my budget is around $210. So uh, I do have to get a little bit more fruit and vegetables for during next week and then a couple of last minute things for uh, my husband's birthday on the 23rd of December and then Christmas Day. So um, all in all, quite a lot of stuff and now I just have to pack it away. So um, stay tuned for the next video where I show you what I got just for this week.